we have Brad Blakeman, former advisor for President George W. Bush, and Dr. Sridhar Podorazu, CEO of Vital Springs Technologies. Dr. P, I'm going to start with you. You had a chance to sit down with Paul Ryan uh, today. What did he have to say? I mean, he's the man in the crosshairs. He's the man with the plan. Everybody's shooting at him over Medicare. What were his views? Well, you know, uh, I think he's the man who really has the answers to the numbers behind Medicare. I've thought so for the last couple of years when I first met him. And I think that the ad today that the president came out with um, is completely false because there are very few people who like Paul Ryan who really understand the economics. And that's what we spoke about this evening, is that for the last couple of years, he has a singular focus on understanding the economics of what it's going to take in terms of fixing Medicare. Um, and I think that's going to be the strongest position we have on the ticket is his depth of understanding. All right, Brad, I want to turn to you and I want to play a little bit of that ad so you can get a sense of it. Here's the ad. The nonpartisan AARP says Obamacare cracks down on Medicare fraud, waste and abuse and strengthens guaranteed benefits. And the Ryan plan? AARP says it would undermine Medicare and could lead to higher costs for seniors. Now, th I think this is the first attack ad I've ever set, seen on Medicare, uh, Brad. Yes. What do you make of this and what do you make of the use of AARP in this ad? Well, they're trying to scare uh, seniors. This is part of the Democrats' 3D strategy. You distort Romney and Ryan's record. You distract away from your own abysmal record, and you try and divide the American people. Rich against poor, elderly against young, and it's not going to work. And as the doctor correctly pointed out, we have an expert now as a vice presidential candidate who is going to not be snowed on the budget or entitlements. He does what most congressmen don't do. He actually reads and gets absorbed in policy <laughs> and understands it. In a town full, and I'm in Washington 24-7, full of politicians, Paul Ryan is a statesman. He's not afraid to make the tough choices that America needs, not only for the here and now, but our future. All right, Dr. P, you know, you, you described Ryan as well as somebody who's the right person to lead change on Medicare, reform of Medicare. But you're someone who sees Medicare every single day from a street view. What do you think of this program now, even before most of Obamacare takes effect? What kind of shape is it in? Well, there's no secret that Medicare is going bust. And it doesn't take a rocket science to figure that out. The Obama campaign has taken the approach that they're going to cut cost by trying to uh, improve quality and try and administer, use this independent advisory board as an oversight, try and cut cost, where the Ryan plan actually takes a much more pragmatic approach and it takes a tested approach that has already been used in the corporate sector. The Ryan plan puts in place this mechanism to drive competitive bidding for insurance companies in terms of bringing uh, price down. It's sort of the defined contribution model. And guess what? Corporate America has been doing that for years in terms of bringing costs down. While nobody will disagree that looking at quality is ultimately important in the healthcare system, uh, it's a pipe dream to believe that it's going to happen within the time frame that the Obama administration has put out there. And to the ad that you talked about earlier about using AARP, I'm not sure how many people recognize that the Obama plan today takes out about $700 billion right. to hospitals and to doctors. So All right. Dr. Before, P, yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to have to leave it there. We're up against a hard break. We're running out of time. Wish we had more time for this conversation and for time with you too, Brad. Thanks so much to both of you, you. for coming on the show Thank tonight. You. Really appreciate it.